Hello student, welcome back. Today we are going to start digital image processing. Shongita Roy, Assistant Professor, Electronics and Communication Engineering, Darura Institute of Technology. This is Module 3, Lecture 6. <clears throat> Content, Digital Image Compression. Wavelet based digital image compression. So far, we have studied different kinds of digital image compression, and it is our last lecture of this series. Now, image compression we have studied that when we have to communicate between transmitter and receiver, a lot of information you have to send. Therefore, huge amount of information means a lot of unnecessary problems will arise as well as cost is also associated with this. To reduce the amount of information, there is some technique in digital compression as well as in digital information, not only for communication but also for any signal, digital signal, this can be compressed by some techniques, predefined techniques, codes. Now this compression is done using different techniques out of this wavelet is one of the best technique that is now using very commonly and popular also now this is not only for communication but also for portable device also means amount of storing size also reduced considerably now how much we can reduce that is a problem already discussed lossy and lossless compression so we will try to reduce the information taking care of without loss or as minimum loss as possible. Why do we need a transform? Mathematical transformation are applied to signals to obtain further information from that signal that is not readily available in the raw signal. Now, most of the information we are operating is in the time domain, means normal information is time domain. But time domain signal is some problem because in time domain signal we cannot separate the frequency. We have studied Fourier transform. There is also some problem. We can find the detail of the frequency but we are losing the time information means from where this signal starts or if a signal comes from where it is coming, from which point it is coming and associated different other problems start in frequency domain. But this wavelet domain or wavelet transform is a mixed domain means we are getting the information of frequency but when it starts but the span how long this frequency will be there that is also assigned in the domain that is the advantage therefore we are getting the time property as well as frequency property but one should be careful about that we are not getting instant time we are getting a span a band of time but whatever it is it is also very helpful to analyze so in this figure above is showing a mixed signal and corresponding it is frequency response this is also another mixed signal and its frequency response of spectrum this is also another signal but one uh, thing should be clear in the frequency domain the time property we are losing but there is no information about the occurring of time when it occurs Fourier transform gives what frequency component or spectral component exists in the signal no more or no less. The time localization of the spectrum components are needed. A transform giving the time frequency representation of the signal is needed. The wavelet transform is a transform of this type. It provides the time frequency representation. Wavelet transform is capable of providing the time and frequency information simultaneously, hence giving a time frequency representation of the signal. Assuming that we have taken the low pass portion of three sets of data, 
we are dividing a data between 0 to 1000 hertz 0 to 250 250 to 500 500 to 1000 hertz in the next step we are taking the 0 to 500 then we are dividing 0 to 125 125 to 225 250 250 to 500 and keeping the high frequency zone intact in this way as we keep on going going down we are dividing the lowest portion part. This is the basic technique behind the wavelet transform. Joseph Fourier 1807 first represent the Fourier mathematics. In 1930 using scale varying basic function Computing the energy of a function started. 1960 to 1980, Wallis and Ronald Kohlmann and Goshman and Morlet studied their work. And post-1980, Stephen Mallet, Y. Mayer, Ingrid Dovish's wavelet application started. And then on, this wavelet is going on. This is the continuous wavelet transform equation. The first portion showing the translation or the scale and the second portion is wavelet portion or motherlet or basic wavelet. This is one representation how this wavelet is showing. Time frequency in the left top row showing time frequency property. Next its corresponding Fourier. And the below row, the left one is showing short time Fourier transform. It is more detailing, means it is more frequency and time detail we can find over there. But in the right lowest row, we can find in the wavelet transform, it gives more detail. Therefore, and where we require that portion, we can get finer tuning. Wavelet functions are specially localized. Wavelet functions are dilated, translated, and scaled version of a common motherlet, mother wavelet. And each set of wavelet function forms an orthogonal set of basic function. That is another important property of wavelet. That is all the uh, all the uh, uh, coefficients and corresponding functions. They are orthogonal to each other. So there is less interference between the coefficients or less amount of interference with less amounts of noise is there. That is another important criteria of wavelet. Therefore, this can be said any signal in the wavelet domain can be separated easily and they are orthogonal to each other so that no interference can be one coefficient to another. Now this is the discrete wavelet transform mathematical background. Now wavelet family. Wavelet is a basic function but under that there are a lot of wavelets are there. Har is one of the prominent name in this series. Dobishes, simlets, quaflets, Biorthogonal. Biorthogonal is one of the one of the very well known wavelets that is used for reducing noises. Diverse biorthogonal wavelets, mere wavelet, discrete approximation, mere wavelet, Gaussian wavelet, Mexican hat wavelet, morlet, complex Gaussian, Shannon, frequency B spy line, complex morlet, Fitchker, coronoculki wavelet. Application of wavelet transform in digital image processing. That is the one of the important idea, uh, uh, important area of our concern. This uh, wavelet can be used in fingerprint recognition, image compression, image denoising, face recognition, image fusion. Our main goal is image compression. Now this is one of the application in image compression. Now this is the original image five. 512 into 512 grayscale LENA, well known LENA image. Now, depending on the compression, how the image coming, it is showing in the right side. See JPEG, 
compressed file size is 4 to 13 bytes, PSNR is 21.93 dB. Late compressed file size is 3 to 19 bytes, PSNR is 28.20 dB. Then CJP complex file size is 8078 bytes, PSNR is 30.40 dB. Late compressed file size is 7812 bytes, PSNR is 32.05 dB. These are the showing how the uh, image is showing and corresponding its signal to noise ratio PSNR. Now that is another idea of how the wavelet compression is done. Original image of 256 into 256 and below the image is showing. So if we operated first stage of hard, uh, first stage of image compression then it will be low low high low low high 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 means this is four parts we can divide the signal one is basically one is horizontal component another vertical component another is diagonal component another is a coefficient component so it is we are compressing the image it is the first stage if we go on the second stage only on the coefficient part or the approximate part we will operate again stage means only LL part we will again apply compression. So again it will be LL2, HL2, LH2, HH2. So again if we want to continue the process again we have to op op operate it on LL2 and it will continue and as we compress the size will be reduced and compaction will be done. These are the references. Thank you. But we will again do some MATLAB. Let's see. So this is a MATLAB inbuilt program. We have taken it. It is uh, a paper dot JPG is there. It is a inbuilt program. Inbuilt image is there. So it is operated on a wavelet compression with 12 stages and how the output is coming it will be shown. So we are going to start. So this is the output. The left hand side is the original image, right hand side the compressed image of 12 steps means 12 stages operated at it as it is shown in the previous slides that different stages are there we can operate the first stage, second stage in this way 12 stages it has been operated and what type of wavelet they have taken? It is taken by or 4 means by orthogonal 4.4 wavelet. And compression ratio is 1.65 percent. This is showing. We can change the steps and how the output is affected. We can find. Let's see. So I will change 12 to higher stage means more final result will come 24 say. Okay, 12 it is 16. So, see compression ratio is 21.25 percent means more compressed but the image is quite clearer. So, in the uh, it is shown that in the wavelet domain output is not quality is not deteriorated but it is looking quite good so I will do again another steps say 20 I am not changing the title axis because it is uh, ok now the compression is more compressed 36.05 percent but the image still it is quality is good. So it is showing that after compression in the wavelet domain the image is very good quality no problem is there. So this is all of the day.
Thank you.